Hi, Bree and Brooke. Hello. And had it. <laughs> so today is a very special day. It is December 31st, 2019. And what's the special about today? Well, it's her birthday. And it's her birthday. <laughs> We're celebrating the anniversary of being uh, womb mates <laughs> for yeah. 28 years. Well, womb mates for one nine months and then, yeah, 28 years, years plus together. nine months. Yeah, together. Yeah, like pretty much side always. by side, yeah. heart to heart. Yeah, except for a Good. few Good. days here and there, <laughs> maybe a couple of weeks. Why? We've yeah. probably yeah. only been apart for two, two weeks. Camp. Yeah, camp. for about two weeks. Yeah. So what's it like being twins? Everyone who's not a twin is dying to know. Yes, and everyone who asks that, the answer is I don't know because I don't know what it would be like to be a single. So I would ask you, what is it like to <laughs> not be a twin? But one thing we can say is yeah. that it is a blast. It is. Yeah. It, it hasn't it, always been a blast though. No, no. it's definitely had its challenges. Definitely. Yeah. But it is super fun to be able to share um, experiences with somebody who is your the same age and a girl and um, there's just a connection that we have as twin sisters that we don't have with anybody else and it's very special. It's like it's um, uh, a bond yeah. that goes as deep as the heart goes mm. and you can we can read each other we can read each other like the back of our hand a lot basically. of yeah and it's it's really really cool to have somebody like that in your life yeah lots of time um those are uh, careful that looks like that's our new year's eve fireworks yeah look at those yeah wow Anyway, back to the interview. Okay. Depending on the situation, we can read each other's hearts and we can read each other's minds. And emotions and looks. Yeah. Uh oh. Whoa. Out. What? This is an interesting interview. Okay, here, continuing. Oh, everyone. Look out, Jen. Jen, that's uh. I. Oh. Oh my. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, there's just just the bond. The bond mm -hmm. of being a twin and having that person that you can go to and say, like, you can actually. Can you stop? I'm trying to tell them to stop <laughs> wrestling so that we can focus. You're not supposed to know that they're there. That's right. Yeah. We're trying if to be we very were professional. professional. Okay. <laughs> so if we are having a bad day or we're struggling with something, um, it's pretty easy to to tell if she's faking it or if I'm faking <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. Well, yeah. that can be with any sibling kind it's of. A, yeah, but like if I am looking at any of my siblings and can like read them really closely, I'm pretty sure it's broken. Mm -hmm. The most. Yeah. Although I and would say if I can read any sibling too, it would be broken. Oh no. <laughs> I could have more practice yeah. trying to hide my feelings. Maybe? Oh come on. It's good to be real. <laughs> okay. Like yeah. so do, be, okay. Do, to be okay. discerning though in your Yeah. yeah. That yeah, um, and not just and how authentic yeah. you are. Anyway, yeah. that's another conversation for another day. Yeah. I want to say something else. If Rianne is not doing well, if she is down emotionally and in the dumps, mm -hmm. I feel that. If someone's hurt you, or if someone's hurt me, like we feel for each other, and it's like we want to fight for that fight. Either like sometimes we've had where we mm -hmm. like gang up against each other sometimes, mm -hmm. and that's not nice. But when that when, hasn't been for a long time, that was probably like more like 10 years ago, 11 years ago, the, when we were in our teenage years and kind of more competitive. Comp comp and that's competing. more when it was just arguing between yourselves. If someone ganged up against Brooke, right. Bree would back Brooke up and vice versa. Well, not all the time. I think like, most of the time. It, yeah, well, we would it gang up on mom. When we were really little and we Sorry, watched mom. lots of bad, like, bad movies or things, we would do things that bad would just waste as time. In, like, like played Barbie dolls? Yeah, and like watched uh, 
actually some Disney movies that would have the hero be rebellious to her father. Like The, the Little, Little Mermaid, Mermaid, for example, or other Don't ones. watch that show. There are lots of subliminal messages that you will find in Disney shows, and Brooklyn and I grew up on those. And believe it or not, they would cause a lot of rebellion in us little girls as when we were like 10 or 11, and we would gang up on mom, and she was a new mother, and then of course dad would come home and he would hear about that and we would be put in our place but you have to watch out for the subliminal, subliminal messages in books, movies, music and the friends that you hang around. We were talking so, about standing up for each other and feeling each other's feelings when the other person's down mm -hmm. yeah. and I definitely feel when you're down yeah. uh, I feel it yeah. deeply. I if, if I allow myself to be there in your shoes and yeah. like be with you, I feel it so deeply, mm -hmm. and like I can feel sick. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yes, I know exactly what you mean because I feel the same way yeah. when she is not doing good. If someone is like has been mean to her, um, it's never a sibling. It's usually someone outside, and there's been an issue. Um, right. And I and you're very protective. I feel protective and especially if um, if she's gone for a while um, like a week or even a couple three days or so I really feel like something is mm -hmm. gone out of my out, out of me like and, and it's like this hollow feeling and and I'm like thinking about her and wondering like how she's doing and and just like I don't feel totally right until she gets back you and don't, I'm like yeah oh Here's the rest of me is, is back. Mm -hmm. So when we get married, that's going to be a, a really hard thing. When we're Very when much. we're separated, it will be fun. It'll be wonderful to change. Yeah. But you'll just have to live close to each other. Possible. Well, yeah. That. Lord again. willing. Yeah, that would be really, very nice. Yeah. Anyway, that's that's uh we're out of time for today. Remember. God made you special and he loves you very much. Bye! And so what we have learned applies to our lives today. And God has a lot to say in his book. Larry, you know how I feel about that song. <gasps> you think you know, you know that God's word is for everyone. And now that our song is done, we'll take a look in the book. Bye! Bye! <laughs>